Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to start a new series about modular and Citrus production to be more precise about VCV rack and Citrus production. So what is VCV rack? VCV rack is an open source virtual Eurorack DO or Eurorack synthesizer with which we can create a full Eurorack synthesizer inside of our computer. This can be used as an introduction to modular and Eurorack or it can be used as a secret weapon or a secret synthesizer with which we can make unique textures and sounds that are hard to make using traditional synthesizers and plugins. So with that said, how do I use it? I use it as a secret weapon, which means I'll send MIDI from Ableton Live into VCV Rack and then I'll get the sound back. I'll write the sound back into Ableton Live for further processing. How do I do that? I use the bridge plugin, which is not supported anymore by VCV, which means it won't always work perfectly. It might have some bugs, but anyways, so far it works really good. And you can get it if you go to the vcvrack.com slash downloads and download this old version, which is the 0.6.2. You should be able to get the VCV bridge plugin uh, and then you will update to the latest versions, which is 1.1.6. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description for the downloads. So I'll show you how I'll link both softwares together in a bit. But for now, we need to talk about how VCV Rack works. So I won't be explaining in depth how it works. If you want to understand in details, I recommend watching Omri Cohen's videos, which are really great and he goes really in depth. And by the way, I really don't know the guy and I'm not looking to make any publicity for him. It's just that he makes really amazing tutorials that help me a lot to understand how it works, how Modeler works and how VCV Rack works. And thus I recommend watching his videos. So anyways, in a nutshell, everything inside a uh, Eurorack or Modular or VCV is controlled via voltage. So basically it's an electric current that will control specific modules or parameters of the module or the synthesizer. And I think the best way to illustrate that is by creating a really simple subtractive synthesizer inside of VCV Rack. So this is the default patch. Every time you open VCV Rack, this is the patch that will load up. You can change that. But anyways, I'm going to delete everything and I'll show you. How to make our subtractive synth from scratch. So first of all, we need a module to convert MIDI from Ableton into the virtual voltage that will control the synthesizer. And if we go to the VCV or like the fundamental modules, we have this MIDI CV module. Its job is to, as I said, convert MIDI into this controlled voltage or like virtual controlled voltage. Now we need a sound source. And for sound source, we have two VCOs in here. I'll take the first one. It's just an oscillator. And now to sculpt the sound to take off frequencies or accentuate some frequencies, we need a filter. And for that, we're going to use the VCF in here. Just a normal low pass, high pass, really good sounding filter. And then we need a gate to open and close for the sound. And for this, we're going to use the VCA1 in here. The VCA or like the amplifier is just like a door that we open and close that will allow, you know, the sound to go out outside of the, you know, synthesizer. And to control this gate or door, we need an envelope. So we'll use the ADSR in here to control it. And the last thing that we need is a module that will get the sound out of VCV rack to either our monitors directly or route it back to Ableton Live. And for this, we have this Audio 8 module in here. So how stuff is going to work. So the MIDI, first of all, I'll go to Ableton Live. I'll go to VCV in here and I'll choose the VCV bridge. I'll set it on a MIDI channel. And in the VCV bridge, I'll take the port in here and I'll set it to port 2. There's no specific reason for, for choosing port 2. You can choose any port you'd like. 
So now I'll go back to VCV in here and I'll set the MIDI to CV, set it to bridge, and I'll set it to port 2 as a device. Now we're going to use this volt per octave output in here to control the pitch. Basically, in, in modular, pitch is controlled, as I said, by, by volt or by, by current, and each volt is an octave. So if we want to go two octaves higher, we need to go two voltage higher. Three octave higher, three voltage higher. Now, the signal will go out from the VCO. I'll take the saw signal in here, and we'll go inside of the filter, and from the, I'm going to use the low pass filter. It's going to enter to our VCA in here, to the gate, you know, and from the gate, it'll go out to our audio module, you know, it'll get routed back to Ableton Live. And as the output is in stereo, we I need to route these two inputs, you know, I need to route them to the output of the VCA. So, and one last thing we need to do is to control this gate or like VCA with the envelope, we need to route the output of the envelope to the controlled voltage of the gate of the VCA in here. This gate output in here is basically a binary output. It's either on or off, maximum or nothing. And with it, we can trigger the envelope. So I'll set it to the gate input in here. So basically, every time I'll hit a note on my MIDI keyboard, there will be the gate on and off, you know, triggering the envelope in here to open and close the VCA, the amplifier, or like the door. And there will be also the pitch information, the volt per octave information sent to the oscillator. So it will play the pitch of the correspondent note I've hit on my MIDI keyboard. So I'll open up the filter like so. I'll set the audio in here, output to the bridge, set it to port 2. I'll go to Ableton and just take down the sound a little bit. And now when I'll hit a note, listen to it, we'll get nothing. Why is that? See, there's some problems, some bugs. You know, as I said, it's not supported anymore. I'll set it back to port 1 and let's see if it'll work now. Port one, port one. And now I'll set the ADSR in here, the, our envelope to something really fast. And that's pretty much it about the basic concept of how the Eurorack works. This is, as I said, a uh, really simple subtractive synthesizer, one oscillator, one filter, one amplifier, and one envelope. And we can really get amazing results with this synthesizer if, if we push it a little bit. So if we take an LFO, like so, and I'll take the sine output from the LFO, I'll set it to modulate the frequency of the filter. So if I leave it like so and I'll play a note, listen to what we'll get. Nothing. If we turn up the frequency control voltage knob in here, listen to what we'll get. But what if we crank the resonance a bit up? Like so. We'll take down a bit of the frequency CV, we wanted to modulate just a tiny bit. And I'll crank the frequency of the LFO higher, like so. We just cut ourselves a really simple filter FM lead type of sound. Wow. 
And that's pretty much it. I really encourage you to go and explore more the possibilities that we can make with the VCV fundamental modules. And I really suggest that you don't download new modules uh, before, you know, getting to know how these modules work, because there's just too many free and great modules out there. But the problem is, if you're new to VCV, this could be a downer because you'll have too many options to work with and this might confuse you and you know just stop working and i think this is too bad because the possibilities inside of this software are endless yeah that's the end of our tutorial i really hope you've liked it i really hope you've learned something new and if so please consider supporting me by becoming one of my patrons so i can make more psychedelic tutorials and more psychedelic music and have a great one